Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to quickly summarize the idea of cost of goods available for sale when looking at a, per at a perpetual inventory system ledger. So let's take a look. All right. When you buy inventory, that's known as the cost of goods purchased, whatever you pay for that inventory. That cost of goods purchased is comprised of many pieces. It's comprised of the purchase price you actually pay, which makes your inventory system go up, any freight or insurance that you pay, which also makes your inventory go up, any returns you make or any discounts you take on the original purchase price, which makes your inventory balance go down. Ultimately, when you are done this, the combination of the purchase price, any freight and insurance, less any returns or discounts, that's what's known as net purchases. When you combine your net purchases with your beginning balance of inventory, and notice in this problem, or in this example, I didn't have a beginning balance, but I could just write in here, beginning bal zero, right? Didn't have any. But when you combine your net purchases with your beginning balance of inventory, what that then tells you is what you have available for sale to any given customer. When we're specifically talking about valuation, which is what we're talking about when we're looking at an accounting ledger, we're talking about the cost of the goods available for sale. Notice it's not the quantity. Nothing in here is a quantity. This is what was the value of your beginning inventory? What did you pay for the purchase? What did you pay for the freight? What was the value of the thing you returned? How much of a discount did you get? Combine it all together, gives you the cost of goods that are now available for sale that you can put on store shelves and allow customers to buy. That was it. Said it was gonna be a quick one. That's cost of goods available for sale in a perpetual inventory system. Hope you found it helpful. Hope you join me for another video.